All right, so we did have another redemption for switching up an outfit. Terra has redeemed Aizen to change to the servant costume. So switching from the pirate, here's the servant. He looks very much like a servant in like a, you know, big mansion, i.e. like beasts, people, and Beauty and the Beast. That's what he reminds me of. Uh, as for hair, you got any choices for hair, Terra? We got the ponytailed up summer style one. I think the only difference here is the color of the head, the hair tie. Um, we have the pirate style hair. We have the servant style hair, which is kind of slicked back with a little more mess than the regular hat style. You got a preference? Servant hair, no eye patch. Okay. Do you want any other accessories? Because we have a ton of them. We got top hat. We got other hats. We got glasses. We could have him rosy cheeks. Put some flowers in his hair. I mean, we got lots of choices. He could have a big floaty on his back, which makes no sense. Or on his arm. He could have a ribbon in his hair. He could have the lady pirate hat. There's a Viking helmet? Yo, I didn't even see that before. That's awesome. Ooh, there's a more fancy eye patch. I didn't catch that one. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of pirate stuff down here I didn't even see before. Chef's hat? Oh, shit. Head servant monocle. So many freaking options, it's crazy. Pocket watch. I don't even see it. Oh, it's on his back. Oh, okay, it's on his back. I was confused. Definitely a lot of options. Any preferences, Tara, or are we good with no no accessories? Just regular glasses? Just the regular square ones? It's the Alice in Wonderland pocket watch. It looked like the Alice in Wonderland pocket watch. Alright. That's all. Okay. This is taking longer than I would have liked. Yeah, I think I'll just do one accessory. Sitting here trying to pick... As many as we can is a lot, so, yeah. All right. We have re-accessorized re my boy Aizen, and now we move on. What is going on here? Hello? Dealing with customers here is harder than any job the Blood Wings can throw at you. Care to see for yourself? What is the serving game? Where you try to bring the right... Oh, my God, they brought this minigame back. I don't remember them having this in Vesperia, but they definitely had this in Tales of Symphonia. Oh, boy. Start by taking their orders. Next, head over to the counter to collect the proper orders. If you pick up the wrong order, you can get rid of it by pressing square or triangle. Take the right orders to the right customers. Each time you do so, it will count as a successful order. If you bring a customer the wrong order or make them wait too long, they'll get angry. It will count as a failed order. Each completed order, whether success or failure, will count toward the required amount each stage but you'll need to be careful you're only allowed a limited number of failed orders each game is played in a series of three stages when you finish the stage you can choose whether to continue to the next stage or quit the game if you quit the game you reward the tl coins based on the number of stages you cleared if you continue to play you will go to the next on stage where there will be more customers and rewards will be greater the key to the game is carefully watching for the customer's orders while working efficiently to deliver the orders before they get angry multiple dishes at a time so try to plan your route in the most efficient way possible if you're short on time you can okay got it Well, uh, it looks like the item exchange is the same as before, but we need to play the game. We have to try it. Oh, Lafayette plays it. Okay. It would make sense that if you play this game, Lafayette unlocks a costume. All right, what do you want, sir? I want some pudding. I got you. Let me get some of that pudding. What you want? Give me some risotto. 
Yo, I need some risotto. Oh. Sorry. I'm just supposed to deliver it right away. I'm sorry. I was waiting because I was thinking... Wait, is there a customer up here or something? I want some fruitcake. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I got the recipe or the, the food right away. Okay. In my in my mind, I wasn't realizing I was already carrying the food. I thought it had to like wait to be cooked and prepared. All right. Continue. Let's keep going. Mild curry. You got it. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Pudding. I got you. Fine risotto. What you need, what you need. Fruitcake. Alright. Keep going. Savory egg custard. This music is intense. Pudding. Homemade bread. Pudding. Pudding. Homemade bread. Got him. How many of their of these restaurant mini games are there? I mean, in Tales games, I feel like there's one in every game, but I don't remember there being one in Vesperia. There might have been one, I just forgot. So anyway, I guess I did it. Keep this up, and I think you'll find yourself with your very own fan club. Put this uniform on and keep at it. Yo, that was actually really fucking easy. Here's a nice bow to go with your uniform. Remember, looking professional, half a job. Okay, so I got a bow tie and an outfit for Lafayette. set. So there you go. I don't know if there's more to that. But that's what we got. So there you go. We're just seeing how many Tails coins I have now. Anyway, the red crates should be in the furthest storehouse in Port Zexon. Report to me when you're done. Okay. Find drink, find food, and free talk with fine friends. This is what a tavern should be. A man needs a place like this in his life. Okay. This is the Bloodwing Butterflies Bar. That's a lot of bees. I run a tavern for a living. It's hard enough providing a pleasant place for people to drink. But the Abbey doesn't care for this sort of establishment. They're putting pressure on me. So I use what methods I can to push back. It's all part of part and parcel of being in this business. Okay. If that was all there was for that restaurant minigame, that was, like, stupid, dumb, easy. Destroying red crates in a warehouse? Doesn't sound very nice. Have we ever been nice? <laughs> I suppose not. This is a contract job, so let's keep costs down. I'll call the Von Eltia and have her draw the guards away. If you would. What will we be destroying? Who knows? That's hardly our concern. What if there's human beings in these crates? What if? Anyway, uh, what's up, dude? Dog is a man's best friend. If you're attacked by demons, a cat will run away, but a dog will stand and defend its master. I think everyone should have a guard dog. You want the dog to die first. Just saying. That ceremony was simply fantastic. Fantastic. Lord, speech was brilliant, of course, but... Prince Percival was really something, too. He raises up Artorius to help the country and its people, then willingly steps down. Now that's what I call a king. You think so? Well, to me, he just looks like a wimp. He may look that way, but he has a great inner strength. He's excelled as a scholar and a leader since he was young. His only hobby is falconry, but sadly, I hear he hasn't had the time for it lately. You seem like a big supporter of his. Well, he's got two younger brothers, but just between you and me, they're dolts. Worse, they hang with a bad crowd. If anything were to happen to Prince Percival, the future of Midgand would be bleak. I see. So everyone's hopes are riding on him, then. Which means Midgand's vulnerable without him. Which means fucking murder Percival. 
new objective. King has entrusted Lord Artorius with the royal villa to use as a home for the abbey. The royal family's faith has united the entire land. I suppose we need faith in something after the horrors we faced following the opening. Oh my, what a wonderful face. Yeah, yeah. They love them some bard, you know what I'm saying? Okay, hold up. Can I go up on that ledge up here? Where I was blocked earlier? I feel like there was something up here. But maybe not. Oh, there was definitely a treasure. Plain pendant. Okay, then. Worth it, I suppose. Is there any reason to go over here? I prefer the performance here to the music on the other side of the plaza. Something about watching someone perform makes my heart race and brings fire to my cheeks. Rosy cheeks! Now, that's how you move someone. We have the power to move you. I just want to see what's over here before I head over to the back to the port area and uh, destroy these crates I'm supposed to go destroy. Anything happening over here? Can you name all the Empyreans? Uh, Musif of Flame, Aminok of Water, then there's Hino of Wind, and Umasha, Umasha, Umasia of Earth. And the last is Imsa, in, or Inom, Inomat, of course. Inominat. Inominat. Do, 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 do. Anamanat do 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 Anamanat do 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 Anamanat Excellent, you learned so quickly. What a bright girl you are. Cool. That's not the first time we've heard Anamanat. I just didn't know how to read it when I saw it at first. I was like, yum 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 I wonder if it'll actually let me go in this building. I feel like this is going to be off limits to my plebeian ass. Get out of here, pleb. Cathedral and the palace are breathtaking. I never get tired of seeing them while on patrol. I hope they stand for a thousand years to come. Burn it down. To the ground. Life bottle. I think that's the maximum amount of life bottles. I have 15 now. High Priest Gideon is an honest and righteous man. He's dedicated his life to his faith and to the church. Now, as the representative of the clergy, he's thrown his full support behind the abbey. Hmm. So, he's a man of principle. That's right. He even donated his personal savings to support orphanages and hospitals. Mm. So be at ease. For he offers up prayers for all equally, even for the more dubious among us, such as yourselves. Right. I'm so grateful. I can feel the tears of gratitude coming. Any moment now. Yeah. Do I look dubious to you? The blessing of the Empyrean and Amanat extends equally to all. So pray faithfully and without hesitation. Or don't pray at all, and the same things will happen to you. Just saying. Okay, so can we go in here? I guess we can. Okay, so we're actually in the church. Interesting. Or Autorius is living living is a living whirlwind. He's never in the same place for more than an hour. He does enough for more than three men. Even his attendants have never seen him sleep. He does so much, sacrifices so much for all of us. Yeah. About that sacrifice thing. He even sacrifices children. Are you okay with that? Just saying. That is one impressive cathedral. It fits the capital. Yes. It's incredible. Hmm. It's as I heard. It wasn't built using Moloch arts, but the latest architectural engineering techniques. Look at those arches. The mathematical logic, the structural ornamentation. This is an architectural marvel. So, is that Empyrean in there? I highly doubt it. Empyrean worship has become mostly symbolic over the years. This cathedral wasn't built as a place of worship. It's commemorative, to celebrate the continent's unification. In other words, a show of power. 
That explains why they spared no expense. It's too early to be impressed. This is just the entrance, and it's unfinished. They're constructing a colossal temple inside here. They say it'll take centuries to complete. Centuries? That's insane. How could they think that's a good idea? Your guess is as good as mine. I suppose that sometimes, humans just have a need to push their limits. Yeah, seriously. The Reaper and a demon are shaking their heads at this overwrought monstrosity. Intrinsic worth, zero. I wonder what it'll look like when it's finished. The answer, my little friend, is that it will never be finished, so it doesn't fucking matter. Centuries to finish, well, the people who started it ain't gonna be around in time for that shit to get finished, just saying. Praise be Shepherd Artorius. Thanks to him, people have started worshipping the Empyreans again. Now our salvation is at hand. The Empyreans? They are the gods that created the world? Yeah. The four Empyreans each rule one of the four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. I read in a book that Empyrean worship is the oldest form of human religion. The Midgan Church also worshiped the Empyreans. But because we've had peace and prosperity for so long, true belief in them has slowly faded. So now that people are frightened of the demon blight, they're clinging to their once forgotten gods. Wait a minute. Maybe Artorius is using religion to manipulate the people into following you him. You think? Oh, great Empyreans. Please grant Shepherd Artorius the strength to save your humble servants. If that's the case, he's done a damn fine job of it. Indeed. Great Empyrean, Shepherd Artorius, please bring salvation to your humble servants. Bring us salvation! Lord of the Void and all creation, eternity, and ether. Empyrean and Nominat, please hear my humble prayer. Forgive them of their sins, relieve them of their suffering, bring tranquility to their souls. <laughs> Amen. Not really a religious guy, in case you guys can't tell. Never really have been, probably never will be. Earth, water, wind, fire. With our powers combined, we form Captain Planet. He's a hero. He's gonna save the Abbey from zero. Anyway, we got more combos here. Hold up. I'm tired of praying. I want to go home. Home, home. You mustn't say such things. If you don't have faith in the Empyreans, you'll catch demon blood. No, I don't want to be a demon. They're scary and ugly and mean. And then I suggest you start praying. I know we're missing Heart, I think, is the fifth one in Captain Planet. I know there's five. Heart. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and Fish, deep. please. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, Father? Will the Empyreans <laughs> forgive me? I, uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here, quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Wow, Velvet's got some balls. She's just like, bitch, I'm here to murder. I murdered all these people along the way. I'm about to murder your leader. Tell somebody. See what happens. 
Help, exorcist! <laughs> He's just standing there like a little bitch, though. Outrageous! Why doesn't the Abbey crack down on the taverns? They are dens of evil that dispense only luxury, temptation, and escape. They must be stopped. I'd rather they didn't. That place over there has the best drinks in town. <laughs> See, that's exactly what I mean. They tempt us into wickedness, ruining man and woman alike. The more you drink, the happier and more joyful you get. All the important things in life stop mattering. Their Mavo curry is delicious. <laughs> no, no, no. See, even children are being tempted by their evils. Eating both Mavo and curry together, it's heresy. There is a limit to the amount of luxury one can endure. What the world needs now is abstinence, austerity, restraint. If you want Boredom. to deny yourself, go ahead and do it. But don't force your beliefs onto others. People eat to live. Some even live to eat. It's part of being human. Velvet. That's pretty convincing coming from you. Leave me alone. D hey, I want to eat and drink to my heart's content too. But doing so makes us no better than animals. In order for humanity to survive these harsh times, we need to overcome our instincts and act like rational beings. Yeah, I'm not going to talk to you again. I know there's still more dialogue, but... Nope. No, you invite boredom upon humanity, and no thank you. That's just, that's a horrible life. Why don't you just go jump off a bridge because you're just going to be miserable your whole life. Trying to convince people to follow your bullshit-ass beliefs that no one else really wants to follow. And the ones who do, they can jump off the bridge with you. I don't give a shit. Let's keep moving. Should I save it again? I probably should. I don't know if something's going to happen on my way out of town. I think at this point, I imagine... We just need to do all these missions. And she said we had to do all the missions, right? So every time I do one of them, I got to come back here and get the next one. So that's... I'm assuming that's how that's going to go. So, yeah. I'm not going to talk to anybody else on the way out of here unless they have an exclamation point. There is one more exclamation point here, so let's go ahead and do it. By the way, Mabo curry is really spicy tofu curry. I don't really like tofu very much, so I'd probably pass, personally. I'd try it, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it very much. He may be the shepherd now, but no one knows who he was before the advent, or what he did. No, they don't. But he showed up one day with a malak in tow, routed the demons, and formed a band of skilled young exorcists. That sounds pretty suspicious. Right? But the kingdom readily acknowledged his abilities and his conviction, and threw its full support behind him. Maybe he plans on usurping power for himself. Not likely. He's worked tirelessly to rebuild the church and state, and to shore up the royal family's position. Lining his pockets from the state coffers, then? Not the slightest chance. Rather, he's got all the other higher-ups worried he's working himself to death. Then what's he after? Hmm... Maybe there is no ulterior motive. Maybe he is our shepherd. Whatever the case, if he hadn't shown up when he did three years ago, Midgan would be a smoking ruin. Well, good for Midgan, I guess. Instead of a piling burnt pile, or uh, instead of a pile of burnt ashes, we have a city to look at. Woot! city that I'm going to promptly burn down because now you have Artorius running it and Velvet doesn't give a fuck. She'll burn it all down to kill him. I tell you what. Anyway, uh, how much longer do you have to wait to actually do your new um, channel name, Dragon? Greetings, Magilu's Menagerie. You've come to exactly the right place. Have he I? must be a Bloodwing. What do you want? You already know about the Code Red Demons, right? The really strong demons the Abbey wants gone? Yeah. Would you ever consider hunting them down for us? We'll reward you properly. Reward? Why pay us when the Abbey would do it for free? It's complicated. The Abbey is calculating in their deployments, especially where Code Red demons are concerned. I get it. They'll only act if they determine the demon would cause more harm than the losses they'd incur in battling it. That does seem logical. But sometimes, people have lost a loved one to such a demon. Or sometimes, they have a connection to the person the demon used to be. 
Wherever there's a code red demon, you can bet there are people willing to pay good money to have it killed. <laughs> and let me guess, that's where the blood wings come in. Exactly. There are blood wings all throughout Midgant who have information on these code red demons. If you defeat a demon and report back to my comrades, they'll make sure you're well compensated. All right, I understand. But I won't make any promises. That's fine. No sense in drawing up a contract when the hunter probably won't survive anyway. If you get results, let us know. We'll hold up our end. That being said, I'd feel guilty if I didn't help out at least a little, so... Here, take this. Those blood wings are definitely a rough crowd. To be fair, things are never that straightforward when you're dealing with demons. All that matters is that there's something in it for us if we hunt those code red demons. The only thing better than fighting formidable foes is getting paid for it. Just remember that these code red demons are tough enough to make the Abbey shiver. We'd be wise not to underestimate them. We should talk to those blood wings before considering any of the marks. They might have information that will help us prepare. Yeah, and we better remember to upgrade our equipment. Right. Right. Uh, okay, you can use an Enoff bottle by pressing L2 while you're in a town or field. Direct, okay, so yeah, we can go to directly. Okay, yeah, yeah. right. I forgot about that. Also, more cutscene things. Hey, Laffy said. What is it, Rokuro? Mabo Curry. Huh? Oh. <laughs> You're an interesting one. You like Mabo Curry that much, huh? It smells good. And it's creamy and kind of spicy. Eating it made me feel nice. I'd say you love it then. Do all Malakim have such an appetite? Each has their own tastes. Some eat a lot, some eat a little. Just like humans or demons. What do you like, Aizen? Drinks, I suppose. What else? Uh, pretty much just drinks. Don't you like anything else? Is it a problem if I don't? No. I'm just wondering. For me, it's drinks and candied sweet potatoes. That's where you boil strips of sweet potato in oil and then coat them in sugar, right? Yeah, I never get tired of them. So you like to drink, but you've also got a sweet tooth? Yeah. Is that so strange? No. Candied sweet potatoes? Sounds good. Uh, There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just a sign that you're alive, remember? Right. And we're gonna fatten you up like a little piggy. Getting hungry all the time. Let's see if your piper's in order. Move along. I'm just trying to see if these bitches talk about the marks at all. Screw up during a hunt and die. We aren't responsible. Good luck. So, how are we supposed to learn about these hunts? Are there specific people I need to talk to about them, I guess? She did say, talk to the people who know about the hunts to learn more. Dude, the wolf, get off my ass. I could teleport, but it's really not that long of a walk back if I don't fight much, so. I'm just gonna walk. Honestly, you just kind of find him in the field. Uh, that makes sense. Bird! Oh god, okay. You know what? I'll fight this one. Dangerous encounter. Oof. That motherfucker punched me hella hard. No mercy. Like Captain Insano. He show no mercy. If there was ever a good time to use that fucking mystic art, that was the time. Get that, get that gimme. Oh, 
What was dangerous about this encounter? Get wrecked. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. I'm actually excited about this dire foe situation. It's my first time fighting one. No, don't stun me. No. I'm careful of that. Wait, are we even hurting this guy? Whatever, just hurt the big dude then. I've noticed that the ads weren't taking damage. I've learned. Shit. Just stunned like everybody in one hit. Damn it! Ah, oh. fucking Lofty Set died, man. Wake up, bitch! Oh fuck, Rokuro died too. Wake up, Rokiro! Oh fuck! Knocked me out and almost killed me. Goddamn. Okay. It's our first struggle for a fight, for sure. Damn it, I want to get one more back. Damn it. Ugh. Stunning me and shit. I don't like it. What do my other items do? Heals HP. Mysterious potion that restores an ally's BG by two. And this gives you three souls. Okay. Good to know. I don't know how rare those items are. Oh, shit. He did a soul burst. That was no bueno. Yes. You know what else I should check? Hold on. Do I have any other arts I haven't been using? I do. Twin Whip. Shell Splitter. Hmm. Part of me thinks I should have Searing Edge in the front of a combo right now. Shell splitter. Let's put that one here. Shit. I can't die here. I forgot how to switch party members. Shit. How do you do it again? Oh my god. I can't remember how to switch party members, guys. I figured it out. I don't remember what I just pressed, but it worked. Shit! Oh, it's no bueno. Which character is it? L2 and R2? Oh, while you're in this menu. Okay. That's actually helpful. I have to use up all my fucking life balls right now. Man, this is pretty tough. I'm gonna lose. I'm hella gonna lose. Use up all my fucking life bottles right now. 
Uh, the stun is bad. Definitely gonna lose. Disgraceful. Can I run? I guess I could run, huh? Seems like a a terrible waste of things, yes. but I guess I could run. Yeah, I'm dead. Ho-hum, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, look, my expedition returned. Awesome. Take a look at this. Apparently it still counts even if you die. Awesome. Level two, finally, Woot. I knew this would be big. Hey, what we found the treasure. Red Jewel Pendant. Found at the center of a raging windstorm on the Layman Sea. Said to occasionally emit a sound like the howling of a beast. And we learned a new skill, Rangetsu Basic Training. Cool. There's still something here to get, so we're going to go ahead and send Scout it back out. Setting sail. But I am going to look at the area info real quick. Yeah, we got the Red Jewel Pendant. Stuff an area to unlock and one more secret. And one more item. Strengthen the crew with Ringetsu tra style training. Okay. Apparently that's just a thing you learn from going... Probably from my level up, I probably got that. And then treasures. We got this red pendant. pendant. Nothing of any worth to me. Okay. Uh, I guess this is a conversation. Really sure the pendant looks like a little sinister, but Jewel is a pretty shade of red. Look pretty suit you nicely, though, but I'm not sure it would take it on. This is an insult. I didn't mean to pick in a bad way. It's like li putting lipstick on a rat pig, you know? You're just digging yourself deeper. Haven't you heard the phrase, it means you can take someone cute and dress them up nicely and they'll be even cuter? You have that wrong on so many levels. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let me try it another way. Give pearls to rat pigs, caviar to the general, and penance to demons. Something like that. <sighs> More like preaching to deaf ears. Okay. Interesting. Well, alrighty then. So, question. Go to treasures. It's so empty. Why? Because I have one treasure? Duh. What'd you expect? I literally just got my first treasure. The fuck did you expect, sir? And I don't know if it matters if I watch these conversations I've already seen again. I don't know if it affects anything. I don't really care. Okay, I will not be fighting another one of those kind of encounters right now. That was a little too much for me right now. Greetings. You've come to you must be you already the really would you ever reward? It's would you ever get it? That does but some wherever there's a and exactly. If you defeat, all right, that's fine. If you get results, that being said, those all right. We yeah. Got it. Thank you. Moving on. Also, we have this cutscene again. What? Don't. Is that? Okay. Cool. Damn it! Fucking goddamn wolf! Your back attack bullshit! Hate it! Oh God, stop! Let's 
stop fucking stunning me, bitches. Get the hell out of here. You wolfy motherfuckers. Basically, the only reason I do want to walk and not teleport is just to get the shinies for the cat treasure chest things. Like, that's literally the only reason. I don't really have any other good reason to walk the long way. Obviously, for the sake of the stream slash the video, I'd rather just get back to where I need to be quickly. But, alas, I want to open all the kitten caboodle chests. God damn it. I could always grind for these off screen at some point if I really feel like I need to. Because they seem to just respawn when you leave the area and come back, so. Shouldn't be too crazy. All right, we are back. Where do I need to be to destroy the sheen? Warehouse number five. Yeah. I think there was a warehouse over here on the other side, wasn't there? Like there was a guy guarding a warehouse. I remember that. Also, there's a combo over here. Let's go hear it. Because why not? Bird! Wait. Oh, no, the combo's on the next dock. Sorry, I thought it was this one. I'm stupid. Yo, it's a muy estupido. Can we go fishing? What's this about? Have you heard? The Abbey is building a new base. I hear it's a huge temple in the middle of some mountains near a site of ancient ruins. If they've got time to build a temple, they should use it to kill more demons instead. You sure you want to talk like that here? Ha! I'm different from all those losers who swoon over the shepherd's pretty words and ignore reality. No one's found a way to cure demon blight yet. And demons are still swarming everywhere. Sure, maybe things are not as bad as they could have been. But we still have no idea what's going to happen next. Think about it. Demons could be infiltrating the city as we speak, and we'd be none the wiser. Yep, you're completely right. Completely and utterly correct. What's what next to the save point, sir? What are you asking? Was there something next to the save point? Oh. You mean this? It's like you finished a hunt. I figured it was about time. Oh. I defeated the Shrieking Demonic Bat. I totally did do that. Got a new request. Okay. So that one's already done. I do remember defeating that back in the Hadlow Hollow. Gowless Lake Road. You can fight the Creeping Viper. Well, all right. Noted. Unlocks intense battle difficulty. Uh, okay. Whatever. <sighs> Level 18, huh? Okay. Tara's subtle way of telling me, go look at that. I would have noticed eventually, sir. Could just wait till I walked back, but you know. All right, the guards are gone. Let's move in. Benwick and the crew did a fine job. Because I did see it on the map. I just didn't realize it was something I hadn't interacted with already. Time to destroy some boxes. Amber frag. Red Check crates. It. These must be our targets. The seal of Midgand Cathedral? Should we look inside? There's no need. Burn them, Lafayette. Okay. Burn them to the ground. We're done here. Let's go. 
But what if somebody puts out the fire before it all burns? That storm oh, costs looky too much who's time. here. I must report to Lord Artorius as soon as possible. <gasps> it's you! Oh, hey. The crybaby. Eleanor Hume, Exorcist Crater. Okay, we're fighting. That's cool. We'll see about that, bitch. I do believe you are mistaken. I will be getting away if I so choose. And they little fucking lackeys. They're going down real fast. See ya. Now it's time to F that Eleanor up. Would you like a taste of my mystic art? Ooh, do you like that? Do you like that? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you love it? Oh, stop stunning me. And you're done. Oh, wait. Nope. Nap. Yeah. Okay, she's done. Willing to fight without your Malachine? No. You set the storehouse ablaze? The people have worked so hard to withstand this time of crisis. How can you destroy what they have so painstakingly built? Because I'm not human. You'll pay for this, you demon! More Malakim up her sleeves. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Come and face me now, demon. The fuck are you? He's adorable. <laughs> I mean, he is. Am I? Ooh, I found you at last. That bad, bad boys. Enfu, you traitor! You'll never leave my clutches again! What? <laughs> what are you doing? Get out there and fight! Hey, look! Is that smoke? It is! Fire! The fire has spread enough. Let's get going. You're coming with us. Madam Exorcist, what happened? Oh, you're badly hurt. I can wait. Gather the people and put out that fire. Y yes, madam. Tell me, do you know what was being kept in that warehouse? Um, mostly nectar, I believe. Vast stores of the medicine provided by High Priest Gideon to be distributed to doctors across the land. Medicine given by the church. Why would anybody destroy it? Even we don't know. We just follow orders, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, level up and a few equipment skill masteries. Looking good about that. I like it. I like it. We unlock two random skills. Okay. Whew. Looks like we're in the clear. <laughs> Misfortune and anguish. I had that little turn. Well, at least now I know where to find him. That weird little Moloch was the one you were looking for? The very same. The Moloch Bienfu! A creature of unfathomable wickedness and beguiling cuteness who broke the heart of this wretched maiden! <laughs> Once I finally catch him, who knows what I'll be capable of? Not sure I get it. Me neither. Good. Pray that you never do. Pray that you never do. Let's go. Cause back that bitch crazy. Success. So okay, Mag Magi Lu was not looking for one of the people, the Praetor. She was looking for a fucking Malik, who apparently Eleanor is holding on to. And Eleanor, 
if I'm not mistaken, is the other party member we're going to get at some point. So that's going to be an interesting dynamic whenever that finally happens. But I would say it's going to take a big fucking story moment for Eleanor to have a fucking change of heart to even want to follow me around. Unless it's going to be one of those situations where she's like, I'm going to keep tabs on you. Even though I can't you bring you in myself, I'm just going to watch you. I don't really know if that's how it's going to go down, but we'll see. Trying to catch the wolf that's running around like a little bit. It's like I always get two in a row. Save it up to just get to four, and I always get four and five like in a row every time. Funny. You won't get any Take the whooping, y'all. Take it. Oh right, we got some master skills after that last fight too. I need to double check on that. Nothing for her. Kid finished battle boots, so. I don't have any other boots to give him right now, unfortunately. I don't have an extra calcite boot or an extra hard shoe. So unless they're done with them, which they're not. This is his. Okay. So we can either get the amber pendant one or the plain pendant. Um, Let's do that one first. And for the battle boot us. He already learned Amber and Battle as well, so we need more hard shoes or calcite boots. For now, we stick with what we got, I guess. Alright. Moving on, back to town, please. There really is going to be three missions that we have to do. I'm just going to try and head straight back to her and get to the next mission. Uh, you fucking wolf. Why wolf's gotta be faster than human? I'm a demon. I'm a freaking demon, man. Get back here, you horse. 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 You whore. Unarmed. All right, so all the commotion that was hanging out front here before is gone. What's the deal with you and that exorcist, Eleanor? She had tears in her eyes when we first saw her at Northgand. Velvet poked fun at her, calling her the crybaby exorcist. Why would an exorcist cry? Sacrificing the individual for the good of the many is part of Artorius's philosophy. She seemed troubled by that. She's naive. That she can still carry on shows just how strong she is. It looks like they don't hand out the rank of Praetor to just anyone. Hmm? Just stay sharp around her. That's all. By the way, is that Bienfu character that Magilu was after really a Moloch? He may look strange, but yes, he's still a Moloch. That means Mogilu is an exorcist. Why does she call herself a witch, then? If she got locked up in that prison, she must have been kicked out of the Abbey. Or she could be a fraud. Yeah. Even if she wasn't an exorcist, she could still perform some tricks with a Moloch like that. I will protect you, Madam Eleanor. Face me now, demon. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Was that laughter? Uh, I'm sorry. Why apologize? Bienfu is funny, right? Right. Then if you want to laugh, laugh! <laughs> if you think that's funny, you should give it a try for yourself. Say, Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Uh, all right. Hi, I'm Luffy Set. Knock it off. Huh? What's the problem? People are staring. Don't attract attention. I'm sorry. She's so uptight. Let's try it together later, Luffy said. Uh, all right. Velvet the fucking party pooper over here. 
I know this exclamation point we already listened to, but I'm just gonna skip through it because I want to just get it off my map and it's gonna bother me. He may be no, but he showed that sound. There's another triangle scene that I just noticed too. Lining his not the soul. Then what's hmm? Whatever. Well, we've learned one thing coming to the capital: the Abbey and Shepherd Artorius have expanded their power immensely. They might as well be the Empire now. They have the undying support of the populace. The Shepherd, savior of humanity. <laughs> I wonder what he meant by the blessings of the Empyrean Enominat. That's what they call the gods they worship in church, right? The Empyreans? He promised a lot in that speech. But can he really command such a power? I have no idea. Not even we Malachim know of them beyond the stories and legends. He called Enominat the fifth Empyrean. There should only be four. One ruling each element. Is he talking about a new Empyrean? Have you heard anything Luffy said? Sorry. I don't know anything about this. It doesn't matter. We should be careful about taking his words at face value. The man is no saint. He'll stop at nothing to achieve his aims. But there's no way he could have a god at his beck and call. Don't underestimate the Abbey. Trust me, I'm not. That's why I'm using the Shadow Guild to help us hunt them down. And to make sure that I kill him. Hell yeah. We gonna get him. We gonna Assassin's Creed that motherfucker. When we get the chance. Gotta just keep doing our research. Bide our time. Snipe that fool when we get the chance. I'm not really worried about saving it right now. Not till we're on our way back out. I don't expect to fight anybody in town. Not yet. I also just noticed that this guy's here too, or girl, I guess. She just, I guess there must be one of these people in every town now that's gonna just have the list of monsters we can go kill. So that's good to know. Trouble at the docks, was there? Well, so long as the job was done. All right, next one up, search for a missing man. Find and bring back a scholar named Mendy who disappeared along Gallus Lake Road. Well, good. That's where the other monster is that we want to kill. So there you go. Good Take luck. it on. I look forward to hearing your report. Take it on. A scholar missing on the road to Gallus Lake. Strange request. If they know where he vanished, why don't they just look for him there? Exactly. And what's so illegal about a missing person's case that you gotta go to the underworld? I can think of a few possibilities, but our job isn't to ask questions. It's somebody who's already been reported as dead, probably. But the underground's like, nah, 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 that bitch ain't dead. They keeping that shit a secret. That much I can guess. Whether it's correct or not, we shall see. But I assume if we're going to find this scholar, he'll know whether or not, like, we'll, we'll learn from him what his position is and why uh, it's all weird and shit. Why there's even a request. So that's cool. All right, I am going to save it right here. But right outside of Logris.